things that are general principles before we go into some specific examples. Uh, demons are very much like the mafia. In fact, every time I think of Chicago, I think of demons, and every time I think of Chicago, I think of the mafia, because they're very close. <laughs> Don't report me to Mr. Richard Daly. But anybody who's lived in Chicago knows that there are areas of Chicago that Mr. Daly, with all his good points, doesn't control. And the police don't get there alone. In fact, they go there in twos and they don't get there in the dark. There are other forces in Chicago that are at war with the forces of law and order. And they have infiltrated areas of the administration. They have some politicians under their control. Really, the mafia is a remarkably vivid picture of demon infiltration into a human personality. And one of their principles is, as you know, that they operate in gangs. Well, the same is true with demons. They operate in gangs. And I have come to know them well enough that when I find pinpoint one member of a gang, I immediately start to look for the other members of that gang. And they're very rarely missing. They don't operate in, in, as individuals ultimately. Jesus said this, when the unclean spirit has gone out of a man, he walks through dry places, finding rest, looking for rest, finds none, says, I've come back, comes back, what? Not alone, but with seven other spirits, each more wicked than himself. He's brought his gang with him. And this is the way it regularly happens. Okay, now then, let's deal with these areas. The main one, I say, is emotions, 